Hey guys, it's Vicky, and today I'm doing this deep plum smoky eye look using the Smashbox on the Rocks palette. First, I'm going to prime my eyes with the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And I'm just using my finger to blend that out as normal. And I'm taking this plum shade from the On the Rocks palette and putting it all over my eyelids, as well as in like a diagonal shape going towards my eyebrows, as you guys will see. Yeah, this look is a lot different from the usual looks that I do because I'm putting a dark color on the lid. I usually go for like a lighter color on the lid. And now I'm using um, this lighter purple shade in my crease. Um, and I'm kind of blending out that deep plum shade and building it closer up to my brow bone. Just kind of create a little bit of a more gradient effect. And you can see I'm sharpening up the, the deep purple, the deep plum there on the side, making it more of an angle. Now I'm going in my um, Coastal Sense 252 palette, and I'm taking this um, orangey brown, and I'm putting that right above the light purple color and kind of on it to blend it a little bit more. This um, this will give it a nice like orange fade to it and it just ties the whole look together very nicely. And you're just going to see me go back and forth and blend and intensify that deep plum color on my eyelid. And now I'm using this corner color um, as my brow bone highlight. Yeah, you can barely see it on camera, but um, you could see it in person. And it really just blended nicely with that reddish um, orangey brown from the Coastal Sense palette. I'm blending everything more. Yeah, and guys, I didn't use any eyeliner on my lower eyes for this look. Um, my eyes have been acting really funny with my allergies, so... I just didn't even want to put eyeliner um, on my lower lash line. But it's, it takes too much rubbing to get it off. And I've been rubbing my eyes enough with all of this pollen that's in Philly. Like, it's crazy. It doesn't even make any sense. Yeah, and on the bottom, I'm just taking that um, shade that I used in the crease, the medium purple shade, in my inner corner. And I'm taking the deep plum and using it on my outer corner. And then I'm taking that reddish brown shade and blending out the deep plum shade a little bit more and connecting it with the eyeshadow on the top of my lid. And I'm just cleaning it up a little bit with the, um, what do you call it? Paper towel. And I'm just using my Line Stiletto Eyeliner. And I'm not doing too much of a dramatic wing, just like a really basic wing, as you guys can see there. And then I'm just going to drag it into my inner corner a little bit. Again, not super crazy, just a little bit. Alright, and now I'm just putting on some eyelashes. I don't remember which lashes um, these were. I lost the packaging for it, but I do know that they're red cherry lashes. And they're just really nice and dramatic. And I did have issues like putting them on. Like the one on the on my right eye so I've been lifting up a little bit. So I ended up having to take it off and put it back on. But that's what happens with lashes sometimes. It's not a big deal. Just make sure that they're both stuck on your face before you walk out the door. And now, as usual, I'm using my NC45 um, Studio Fix Fluid underneath my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, on my chin, and on my forehead to highlight. It's the same thing that I've been doing for a while, guys. And I will be doing an updated um, 
how I contour my face because I have changed the products that I use. I don't use the Tarte Concealer anymore. That was just way too thick for me. Um, the Using the MAC Foundation is way better. Now I'm using the NC50 on my face. I do know that it's a little bit lighter than the rest of my body. My body tans, but my face doesn't because I always have on like a good amount of sunblock all over my face. I wear sunblock on my body too. But with the makeup and the sunblock, my face like never gets any color. So I do realize that my face is lighter. I went to the beach, well not to the beach, I went to Atlantic City um, last weekend. So I have a tan on my body. So just please bear with me <laughs> with the, the difference in the complexions. And I'm using my, uh, my, I think that's Smashbox too, or Tarte. The Primed and Poreless. I can't remember what that's from. I think it's, no, it's Too Faced. Too Faced Primed and Poreless to set my highlight. And I'm using my NC50 MAC powder, the Studio Fix powder, to set the rest of my face. And as usual, I'm using Max Blunt to go ahead and contour my cheeks. And then I'm going to go ahead and bronze the rest of my face on the bottom of my jawline, um, the temples, and dragging that down and blending that in a little bit. And I'm going to use my Coastal Sense Blush 2 palette. And I'm using the raspberry blush that's in there all over my cheeks. And I'm going in with my Physicians Formula Highlighter in Translucent Pale, Pale Pearl. You guys, I can't do one video without messing up what I'm saying. It's ridiculous. But, um, but yeah, I'm just taking my buffing brush and blending everything all together. And I am going to insert pictures in here as well because the, um, I don't know, the camera always picks up way, way lighter than how my face actually looks in person. Yeah, and I'm using this lipstick from Autumn V Cosmetics. I did a review on her cosmetic line a while ago. I can't remember what the color is called. And I'm just using this lip gloss from Revlon. I don't remember the color of that either. Um, it doesn't have a, a label on it anymore. I'm using my Chanel Le Volume mascara on the bottom in black, which is what I usually use. It's the best mascara I ever used, guys. And that's pretty much the end of the look. This was very simple to do for me. You know, I have been doing makeup for a little bit. But um, it's nice, and you can wear this day or night. I wore this in the daytime. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching, and see you later. Bye. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot, if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this hair, stay tuned for my next natural hair video. Bye!